this is Stumpy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stumpy's uh, lovely world. Good morning, William Beaver! I'll come and say hello in just one momento, but of course I first need to go and have my brekkie, which today is... Well, you know what it's going to be, I don't need to tell you. <laughs> I've had another attempt at the uh, the recipe, and uh, let's see how this one is. I'm pretty sure I got everything perfect this time, so let's give it a go. It's cold! It's really cold! It's a cold cake, and mm, the cake's normally cold, because it's been there for a while, but I mean, like, really cold, like, I don't know, as if it's covered in snow or ice or something. Ah, that was... Ah, that was kind of surprising. It was it was quite refreshing, but yeah, I prefer my uh, my cakes not quite so cold. Ah. <laughs> oh anyway, Barnaby, uh, you can stand up and uh, you can come with me for now. Uh, I'm going to take you back to the uh, the dog house so you can go and uh, join in with all of your doggy friends games. Whatever they uh, get up to in the day when I'm not around them. I have no idea. I should probably set up a camera one time just to see what exactly uh, my dogs get up to while I'm <laughs> getting up to what I get up to. Uh, but first, of course, I'm going to add someone to the, the love garden. Actually, no, I am not going to add someone to the love garden. I am adding two people to the, the love garden. Uh, I am adding a bin of trash, and that's because uh, she drew drew me this amazing drawing uh, of me and uh, Amy Lee. And you can see uh, a clip of uh, a speed art that she did of her drawing it. And I'm also adding Ellie, who is her, her sister. And uh, Ellie is the person that asked her to, to draw me and Amy. So I thought I better add, uh, add both of them. Uh, so thank you very much uh, for requesting uh, me to be drawn Ellie. And thank you for drawing me a bin of trash and welcome to my love garden. Uh, where is where is Billy? Whoa! <laughs> you surprised me there, Billy Beaver. <laughs> Sneaking up behind me. Right, are you ready to do some building today? Because uh, we have a, a, a new uh, project we're starting today, and it's something pretty different uh, to what we've been doing recently. We're not building a mini game. We're not building a, a shop. We are working on something new and something different uh, from anything I've built before. So I'm very excited uh, to show you exactly what that is going to be and uh, get to work. Uh, but first, I'm going to go and pick a dog uh, that's going to be joining me. And today, let's have a uh, Benton. Uh, let's have Benton joining us today and where is Benton? Benton! Benton! Benton where are you? Hello Benton! <laughs> you can stand up and you can join us for uh, today's episode. Right then, let's explain exactly what it is uh, that we're going to be doing. We are going to be building right about here. And what we're going to be doing is rearranging uh, the uh, the opening of my house. Basically, I built this path and all of these things so long ago. And I don't know, I think uh, I'm ready for an upgrade. All of this area here is kind of wasted space. So what we're going to do, firstly, is we're going to move this, um, uh, this path two blocks to the side. And there's a reason for that. Uh, that's to give us a lot of room here to add a river which is going to start here and have a fountain going all the way down here and ending at the, the water. Also while we're doing that we're going to change the path so it's in the, the same style as the, the rest of our paths. You can see these have all of the uh, the birch and the spruce uh, pattern uh, like this but this one's boring old oak so we're going to change it and oh sorry sorry oh no 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 Benton Benton I didn't mean to do that I was pointing I was pointing I'm sorry Benton it's okay we're all friends here. Actually you you should sit down for now anyway because this uh, might be a little bit dangerous because uh, yeah under the the path is my lava room so there is going to be lava uh, under the other uh, floor somewhere around here so we need to be careful of that uh, but yeah the first thing we need to do is uh, go and uh, destroy this path uh, and then uh, we're going to go and uh, add uh, a new path which is going to be slightly to the side and it might seem like a bit of a waste of time uh, but it won't be uh, because basically uh, it means that we have uh, lots of room uh, to add our big river in which I think is going to end up uh, looking really cool so we can also uh, gather up uh, all of these flowers as well and uh, we can put them back down basically where they were before uh, but of course uh, next to the the new path so all of the the flowers are still going to be there and uh, then this pattern is going to continue all the way over the bridge and all the way over to the the lighthouse there so basically uh, all of the uh, the paths kind of fit in uh, to the the same style so i do have some some birch and some spruce on me uh, so let's go and make some of these into to planks and uh, it's pretty much the world's simplest pattern uh, you just alternate between the different colors so you go from spruce to birch to spruce to birch to spruce <laughs> just like that and then do the the same on the the other side here just like that and then this is going to stretch the uh, the whole way uh, down here. But I'm not uh, going to be doing this all video. I am mainly going to be working on the, the fountain, which I hope uh, you're all going to agree uh, is going to, to look pretty cool. So uh, tell you what, William, and oh, 
How have I done this wrong? How have I got the world's simplest pattern wrong? <laughs> Let's go and just change that. Otherwise, that's going to annoy me. There we go. So, uh, uh, William Beaver, uh, do you want to go and uh, carry on working on the, the path? And I'm going to go and do the, the fountain, and then we can meet up a little bit later on. Right then, uh, let's go and uh, get to, to work then, shall we? So, I wanted to, to add a fountain, and at first I was thinking I could do a little stone fountain with a little bit of water spewing off. Then I thought, you know what? I am going to see this fountain every time I leave my home. I want this to look pretty marvellous. So, I'm going to do a very big fountain, and I'm going to do it in the, the same style as my house. Uh, by that, I mean I'm going to be using sandstone and uh, oak wood as well. And uh, as you can see from my house... Um yeah, that is uh, definitely a, a style that I <laughs> used to, to like when I started building my house. So it's going to be in the, the same style. And also, uh, my house has lots of water running through it as well. Uh, so it just seemed like a, a good theme. Uh, so what we're going to do is that we're going to alternate uh, between these oak blocks and then sandstone just like this. But there's a bit of a, a twist. It's not going to be a normal fountain uh, where you just see the, the water always trickling down. There's going to be a cool effect where the, the water is going to be switching on and off really quick and it's basically going to make a, a cool trail uh, of water uh, that's going to go down but kind of like um, it's going to be kind of like sprayed it's going to go really quick there's going to be uh, almost like panels uh, of water making their way down and it's very hard to explain <laughs> uh, but hopefully it uh, will all come clear soon uh, once we go and do it but for now uh, all we need to do is build a straight pillar uh, like this uh, a pretty thin uh, pillar and then we're going to do one trail of redstone uh, going up the the middle and don't panic uh, this is not gonna whoop whoop i'm falling i'm falling what did i did i bang my head on something why am i getting stuck there we go <laughs> yeah don't worry this is not gonna turn into a redstone video all it is is these torches going up the the top and then these are gonna power just uh, a few pistons and it's actually the the pistons that turn the the water on and off if you tried using a, a dispenser it doesn't work all you get is a bit of water coming out and then it's stopping and starting again but this isn't like that this is like literally like um like uh, dinner plates. Imagine dinner plates of water, square dinner plates, of course, because it's Minecraft, of water, <laughs> making their way down uh, to the, the floor and uh, not really looking like a, a full block of water. So that's the uh, the effect we're going for. And then there's also uh, going to be lights flashing. Because we're doing these torches, uh, we can add a bunch of lights in, uh, especially one at the uh, the top, uh, which will just hopefully look cool as well. So, uh, well, yeah, we're going to go and uh, do all of that. But first, I need to carry on building my tower uh, all the way up to the, the top and I haven't really decided uh, how high I'm going to go. And I haven't really decided how I'm going to build the, the top yet. I'm going to kind of improvise. I know I want it to be kind of like a, a star shape, uh, but also not too unlike uh, the uh, the top of my house over there. So I'm just going to go and uh, play around, uh, probably with a, a bunch of stairs and things until I have something that ends up looking cool. But my first challenge uh, is to get that water effect working, because that's going to be the, uh, the main cool thing uh, about this fountain. But I also uh, need to decide how high I'm going to go. So I've been kind of non-stop building and talking here, and I've suddenly realized I have got very high. How high is this? It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's very tall. <laughs> I almost lost count. And whoa, look at Billy Beaver beavering away doing that path. He is making uh, some amazing progress there, digging uh, away all of the, the area for it to be built and filling the, the rest. And hopefully uh, that will be done by the, the end of the episode uh, as well. All uh, right then, I think this might be a good place then uh, to build the... Um, uh, the actual top of the the fountain so let's uh let's just do a, a square of sandstone here and this is pretty much uh, all going to be made out of a uh, sandstone and oak wood because uh, that's pretty much all of what my house is made out of apart from uh, of course uh, a few redstone lamps so uh, let's put one redstone lamp uh, at the uh, the very top like this and so basically when the uh, uh those torches are getting lit up uh, and going on and off uh, then this light is going to be going on and off as well and what i might do is i might set it so that in the the day it just looks like a normal fountain with just the water spewing over and quite dark but then at night time uh, I can have a daylight sensor which will then basically turn it on uh, so then the, the water starts pu uh, spewing and uh, scattering or however you want to describe it and uh, also the, the light uh, can start switching on and off. I think that might be a, a quite a cool way to do it but let's uh, uh, have a look and see what it looks like in the, the day and see whether we just want it on all the, the time. I just don't want it to get annoying is the thing. <laughs> I think it will look really cool uh, but since I'm looking at it every day uh, i don't want it to, to end up looking too annoying so here we go uh, we've got our, our general layout here and uh, then 
and we're going to go and we're going to add in uh, bits on the either side and this is where the um uh, the 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 fired water is going to come out the the water that's going to be uh scattered i need to find a good word for it uh let's say spray this is where this the water that's going to be sprayed is going to come out of so it needs to be uh coming through one block because when you normally do water it kind of makes um a bit of a, a triangle shape i guess is a good way to describe it where the water kind of goes absolutely everywhere uh, but if i do it so it drops down through this hole and uh, then it's only going to be one block so i need to go and uh, do this uh, on all of the uh, the different sides uh, just like this actually tell you what what i might do i might as well finish off this but then i'm going to try and make it so at least one side uh, is uh, completely uh, working uh, and then we can go and uh, try and do all of the the other sides afterwards because i don't want to go uh, through the uh, the process of good uh, doing all of these and then i test it and it doesn't work and then i'm just going to end up crying so let's just go uh, i'll finish off these because i started them but for now let's just work on this side here and uh, let's see if we can make it actually work so i'm going to put some torches here seeing as this uh, uh, redstone lamp isn't on right now uh, just so i can see what i'm doing and uh, yeah let's go and uh, decorate it and try and make it look a little bit cooler so uh, i'm going to go and add in some stairs Actually, let's first uh, go and add in the, the actual piston part, because that's the uh, the most important part. So if I break away that block, there should be a torch behind it. And I can't actually see, but I think there should be. But a good way to, to test it is to put down a, a piston. So can I get a little bit lower? If I place a block on there, and I want to be very careful right now, because I am uh, quite high up. So there should hopefully uh, be a torch uh, behind that block there. So let's go and break it away. Oh, no, no. Uh, I need the, um, the piston to be right next to a, a torch so uh, what I might do then is I might go and do it one bit uh, block lower and oh there we go there was a, a torch there so basically as this torch switches on and off uh, that is going to be uh, what's making the uh, the piston go so if I go and place the piston oh no that's the wrong direction it needs to be uh, pointing in my direction so if I go and oh no I've lost a piston luckily I do have a, a spare one on me so it should be okay if I build out here like this and place it here is it going to face me there we go that is doing uh, exactly uh, what i what i need it to to do and now i need to try and find a way to get back up to the the top <laughs> i might just have to to make a, a little bit of a, a mess here with this dirt and uh, build out here a little bit and uh, I could see if I can destroy it as I make my way up, but uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to destroy it all. So basically, that piston is going to be going in and out uh, quite quickly, uh, which is going to be the, the thing uh, that's uh, making the, the water go on and off. So let's go and break these away. No, no, there's one left there. That's annoying me, but I'm going to leave it for now. <laughs> so yeah, let's go and uh, fill in uh, the, the rest of the, uh, the floor here, as it should be. And uh, let's change that dirt block uh, to uh, some planks, shall we? Uh, let's change that to some some oak planks uh, just so it looks uh, a little bit nicer than the the dirt because you are going to be able to to see that and if i place that down there and uh, now uh, we just need to go and uh, fill in a, a bit of the the ground here so let's go and put the uh, the sandstone and then the oak wood uh, back in uh, the way it was like this and uh, let's go and put uh, another block there uh, like that and then yeah the other block should be going uh, the way it is uh, so now i'm going to go and build uh, oh nope didn't mean to build that there <laughs> i'm going to go and i'm going to build some oak stairs and uh, these are partly just to, to look cool uh, rather than using blocks uh, but they're also to block the the water uh, to make sure it doesn't go over the uh, over the the edge so if I go and do one there, and oh nope, that's the, the wrong direction. Let me go and uh, get my axe and uh, destroy that. Uh, this needs to be in this direction, and then this one needs to be here like this, and then this one needs to be here like this. So then the, the water is going to start uh, on the, the top of this block here, and it's going to go down here and down that hole, and then that is where the... Um, uh, yeah, that's where it's going to be getting split up and uh, made into big and small pieces. So I think I might need uh, to build a little bit more because there's a, a bit of a, a gap still, isn't there? Uh, so if I go and try and uh, get to this block, there we go, that did come in handy. <laughs> and then if I go and build a, a little platform under underneath here, and I'm going to put a torch down as well for now just so I can uh, see what it is I'm doing. I think I need to build a, a few more blocks underneath here uh, just to guide the, the water. So tell you what, let's do, uh, let's do stairs again. Let's do uh, one stair here like this and then if i go and build out here being very careful you know you had the the easy job william beaver you know that you had an easy bit doing the path would you prefer to do this <laughs> oh dear let's uh let's go and try and do this here uh, william beaver doesn't like building complicated things he likes building big things and simple things and uh, yeah he also likes fighting googlies a lot he doesn't like uh building things like this uh, but i do i really do uh, enjoy building these kind of more uh complex things that look cool so there we go i think this is looking a little bit better 
And then we could also go and uh, fill in uh, around here a little bit uh, as well. Maybe add a, a stair there and maybe a stair on the, the other side. And I am literally uh, making this up as I go along. And uh, we could also add a, a block there as well. Just kind of uh, to cover up the uh, the piston uh, a little bit uh, just so you can't see that going too much. So there we go. Uh, let's go and fill this in here like that. And uh, now let's go and break away uh, the rest of uh, this dirt. And we're almost ready uh, to go and give it a bit of a, a test to go. I did realize uh, that I forgot to bring any water with me, which isn't very helpful. <laughs> but it's probably a good idea to do the, the redstone first anyway, uh, because yeah, redstone and water, as you very well know, does not mix. So, uh, well, no, once again, that block's still there. So yeah, this is where the water is going to eventually be. And then around here, uh, there's going to be these stairs in the, the same way to guide the water down. And then these little edges here, the water is just going to go and uh, trickle over the, the edge. And that's going to be the, the water that is going to be there the uh, the entire time. So the water uh, going across these little corners, uh, that's going to be trickle. Uh, trickling down the entire time uh, whether the the fountains on or off uh, but for now I think I might put some blocks down uh, just to, to block it all off, uh, just so we don't get too much of a mess. And I might block uh, these off as well now with just a bit of dirt. Uh, so the only water that's going to be going down is going to be going down there. So now I need to make my way down and uh, try and do a bit of work. And oh, <laughs> looks like William Beaver's battling some googlies. Are you okay down there, William? Uh, let's see if I can go and help him. Let's go and jump onto this tree. They were no trouble for him. <laughs> right, now let's go down the, the hole and uh, let's go and uh, do some redstone. Well, I need to, to make the hole first, I guess. Uh, so let's dig underneath here. And and hopefully uh, we are not going to uh, be digging uh, into some long forgotten room that's down here. So there should be uh, a torch uh, above one of these blocks here. And basically we need to do a, uh, a trail uh, lighting up the- Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Lava! Lava! That's the lava room! That is the, the lava room. Right. I need to be very careful uh, not to build anything out of uh, out of wood because uh, that would be a little bit dangerous. And oh, I do need some cobblestone though. Um, William Beaver, would you be able to get me a little bit of cobblestone? I only need one block and that is to, to make a, a lever uh, but I realize I didn't bring any uh, on me and uh, I'll explain why we need a, a lever uh, a little bit uh, later on I'll lever it for now <laughs> right then let's go and uh, stop making puns shall we and uh, let's go and do the actual redstone so as I promised it's going to be super simple all you need to do is go one two three four one two three four and that's it that is a redstone clock, and this is basically going to be continually repeating a uh, redstone signal, uh, which is going to be making the, the piston go. But what I want to do is uh, pull uh, a few of them back. Uh, maybe I'll leave that one as it is, because I don't want it to go too slow. Nope, oh, there we go. Absolutely perfect. I now have my lever as well. Uh, so let me go and uh, make that, and I'm going to put that on the, the wall. And the reason I want to use a lever rather than a button is because with a lever, you can go and switch it on and off really fast like that. And uh, that basically makes it so that you have a much shorter signal uh, going around uh, and if you used a, uh, a button. Uh, so now I need to work out where the, the redstone torch is. So I think it's going to be uh, directly above that block. So let's go now and uh, grab a, a few more of these uh, redstone torches. And if I do one, uh, oh no, I don't want to do it there. I want to do it, uh, well, I want to do it there, but on there like that. And uh, now if I do a, a trail of redstone, I might dig out a little bit further in this direction, actually, just to, uh, to give me a little bit more room. And then I do a, a trail of, uh, of redstone going from here, 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 and just to make it link up. Uh, so yeah, that torch is going to be getting lit up and then turned off. Oh no, it's not. It's not. It's not working. Let's just go and do this uh, a little bit uh, simpler. Let's go and do it like that. So there we go. Now the torch should be getting lit and turned off. And if I've done this correctly, it should be making the, the piston go. There we go. You can see the piston is going forward and back. And so that should hopefully uh, be making it uh, so that the uh, the water gets stopped. And uh, do you have any water on you at all, William Beaver? Do you do you have a, a bucket of water on you uh, that you'll be able to, to place down? Uh, no, he doesn't. So tell you what, if you carry on doing what I was doing on the, the other side, I'm going to block this off because uh, we don't want the, the water to destroy the, the redstone. And then we can go and give this uh, a little bit of a, a test to go and uh, see whether this works or not. So uh, let's, go, uh, let's go down to my water storage room. And I'm sorry, Benton, you've been sitting there all day. Tell you what, let's go my secret route. Let's go down my secret little passage down here, <laughs> which leads me down into my water room. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dump uh, a bunch of this uh, stuff in here, which I don't need uh, because my pockets are getting very full up right now. So let's go and uh, empty out my pockets with all of these things. And then let's go and uh, let's go and grab a few buckets of water because I might uh, actually uh, need uh, a few of these. So let's go and uh, grab them. 
And uh, yeah, we can put it down and uh, see whether the, the effect uh, is going to, to be working or not. So uh, I now need to, to find a way to get up to the, the top. And I don't actually have any ender pearls on me. So it looks like we're, uh, looks like we're doing this the old-fashioned way, making a big mess and piling up with some dirt. <laughs> it's uh, not nice, but it's effective. And oh no, I didn't tell Benton to sit down. Uh, looks like Benton might be joining me at the, uh, at the, the top. Uh, so let's get to here. And oh, Benton, sit down, please. Please sit down. Be careful. <laughs> and let's place down the, the water and see how it works. So you can see... Uh, the water goes to all of the the different sides, uh, but let's see if I get the the effect and all. Oh. You can see it's kind of working, but I want it uh, to be shorter bursts uh, than that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down, and all I need to do is slightly speed up the, the redstone, and that should sort it out. So let me see if I can jump and land in the water. There we go. That was a cool way to get down. <laughs> and I want to be very careful digging underneath here, uh, just to make sure I don't fill the, the place up with water uh, if I break a hole here. And now if I pull this repeater back a little bit, uh, hopefully now it's going to be working uh, the way I need it to. So let me go and uh, have a look and uh, see if it's going. Oh, it still seems to be going... Uh, oh, no, I need to speed it up. That's what I, it was going to. So I need to speed it up, which means I need to pull some of them back a little bit. That's what I need to do. I need it to go faster. And there we go. You can see now it's kind of chopping it. And you can see how thin the little bits are. See what I mean? Kind of like little dinner plates of water, as I described it. <laughs> so that is what's going to be going on all four of the, uh, the different sides. So... Uh, something else that I also think would be quite cool is to add the uh, the redstone torches. So uh, you can see where all of these uh, these um uh, the torches are up here, and I think they were behind the oak blocks, weren't they? If I remember correctly. Uh, let me go and uh, put the uh, uh, what I just destroyed in. So what we can do is uh, let's see. Is there a torch behind here? Um, no, there isn't. I guess it's behind the uh, the sandstone blocks, and I thought it was behind the uh, the oak ones. No, nope, yep, there it is, uh, behind the sandstone ones. So what we can do is we can do a trail of these uh, the entire way up to the the top, and that means as the the torches light up, it's going to to light up uh, the uh, the lamps as well. So if I do it uh, here, and we can do it on the the other side as well. So once all of this is done, there's going to be a, a continuous uh, trail of these lights lighting up the the side, and that is the the thing that I wasn't sure if I wanted to be on all of the the time or only at night times. So let's go and uh, do these. And I can see there William Beaver is uh, going and adding in uh, the uh, the rest of the uh, the pistons at the, the top as well. Uh, let's just go and break this away. And uh, yeah, if we stand back now, uh, we should get a, a pretty good idea of what it's going to look like once it's uh, complete. But I do uh, really want to go and uh, get rid of the, uh, the dirt here because this is just really annoying me. So let's go and uh, break all of this away. And then if I just pile up a bit, I can destroy what was above my head and then go back down and destroy that. <laughs> there we go. The, the trouble I go through. Can I get that last block? Nope. I need to go slightly higher. And if I jump and swing, can I get that last block? Come on. So close. So close. Can I get it? Come on. Can I get it? Oh, no. There's another one. <laughs> there's always one more block ahead of me. Let's just go and destroy that. There's none more. There's another one as well. <laughs> I guess the trail went. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> I kept thinking I was on the, the last one, but it looks like the trail went all the way up to the top. And of course it did, because that's how I got up to the, the top. And actually what I could do uh, while I'm up here, is uh, go and uh, add in uh, a few more of these uh, these redstone lamps. So as I said, I'm probably uh, going to set it uh, so that this only is going uh, when it's night time. I probably won't have it going the, the entire time because uh, it'll probably be a little bit noisy and a bit annoying. But uh, yeah, I think at night time it will be uh, quite a, a cool feature. So let's go and pull down now and uh, let's go and uh, step back a little bit and uh, see uh, how, it, uh, how it looks. Uh, if I go and step back uh, here... And uh, have a look. There we go. I think it looks pretty cool. So as I said, there's going to be more water uh, coming down the, the sides there as well. And then these uh, little patches of water are going to be going down on all four sides. And as you can see, all of the uh, the lamps are going uh, here as well. And this water is really cool. You can kind of swim in it a bit and uh, kind of use it to go down slowly. See that? You can kind of swim up, <laughs> even though it's a, a very thin panel of, uh, of water. And uh, let's go now and admire William Beaver's path. You can see uh, it goes the whole way along here. I have destroyed it a little bit with some of my water but we can go and uh, add these uh, flowers back in uh, so yeah this path is eventually uh, going to go all the way over the bridge and we're going to actually change the the bridge uh, so it's in the the same pattern and go all the way to the the lighthouse on the the other side and then yeah there's also going to be the uh, the big river uh, making its way the whole way down here and to the water there and I think once that's all done uh, this place is going to, to look uh, pretty awesome so that is what we're uh, going to be doing uh, in the uh, in the next episode and look look at William Beaver <laughs> you always look like you're flying looks like you've been like pulled up by a tractor beam or something. It looks really cool. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so in the, the next episode, uh, we're going to go and uh, finish off the uh, the river and the, the path and uh, make it so the uh, the fountain is completely working. Uh, but yeah, that's the, uh, the end of this episode here. So I want to thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!